in our sermon, this one, a question that I would like to ask you and I to think about. Maybe in your DG to share. What indicators define you as a Christian? That is one. Maybe the second question is, how would the community, how would the world define the church today? Would they define the church as, number one, a people who love God? Would they define the church today as a community that shows, practices, demonstrates that sacrificial love, equivalent to loving our neighbour as ourselves? So the great commandment is really a marker that differentiates the people of God from the nations round about. Very quickly, I want to just look at the first part of this great commandment, love God. This phrase, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The Shema, hear Israel. And this is the first and the most important of the commands, decrees, and the laws of God that firstly, they must love God. I am Yahweh, your God. You shall have no other God apart from me. This is the core. This is the very foundation. And therefore, our worship, affection, loyalty, obedience, and allegiance to no one else. Why is this the main and the number one commandment? Because of the whole area of idolatry. What is idolatry? Idolatry, if you want to define it simply, the worship of someone or something other than God as though it were God. History of Israel, they struggle with this whole area of idolatry. They were running after the different gods in the promised land. And let me just say that idolatry is not just about images or statues, but idolatry is also something that we are running after. I think Jesus said it very clear, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. And therefore, even as we move forward, as a church, as a community, we need to commit firstly ourselves to God. We need to love Him. We need to pledge our loyalty to Him. Love Jesus with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Number two, what is another application? Love is not a concept. Love is a verb. It involves action. List out action verbs synonymous to love God. How is it practically expressed? How is this practically shown? This can be actually a good DG activity that we should be, we, we should be doing. Don't worry, you may take weeks, doesn't matter. But this is something that you say, I love God. How will that be expressed? Can I share with my DG members so that for encouragement, so that as I begin to do it, and when I come back, I got a story to tell, to encourage. And thirdly, go and do likewise. All right, so the first thing I want to say for us, SSMC, love God. The second part of the Great commandment really is to love your neighbor. And it is taken from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Love your neighbor as yourself. The principle here, as Jesus alluded also in the gospel, is that do to others what you would want others do to you. This is the principle, the ethics that God has laid down specifically for His people. And that applies to us today as well. 
And this is the second marker that differentiates the people of God from all the other people round about. This is the way that they should live. This is the way that they should relate. This is the way that they should conduct their lives. Luke chapter 10, the parable of the Good Samaritan. The heart of this parable, Jesus said this parable is a response to this question by this teacher of the law. And who is my neighbor? One very important thing is Jesus redefines who a neighbor is. A neighbor is not just your friend, Kakilang, your benefactors, those who enjoy receiving that relationship from you, or your own people. But Jesus said in this story, a neighbor is one who shows and treats irrespective of race, religion, strata, education, economic status. You treat them in the same way that you want others to treat you. That is the principle. And Jesus, at the end of this conversation with the teacher of the law, very simple. Go and do likewise. And in the Gospel of John, didn't Jesus say, if you love me, what will you do? You will obey my commandments. Same thing, application. List out action verbs synonymous to love your neighbor. What are some of the words that you can think of? So I want to challenge you and I want to leave this with you. List out action verbs synonym to love your neighbor. Some words I can think of, forgiveness. Is there somebody that we need to forgive? In the same way, if we always want to be forgiven, can we also release forgiveness in the way that we want? Is there a need for us to show kindness? Is there a place, a call for us to be more compassionate to empathize. And I want to just lay down and just say that as we go move forward in, into this next phase, it is about the head, the heart, and the hands. But let's be committed to each other to say that, brother, sister, this is what you share. It's a loving thing to be accountable and let's journey together. Love God, love people must be expressed, lived out, and experienced. We need to embody this truth, the great commandment, in practical, intangible ways. Number two, let's encourage each other, help each other on this journey. I think as we share what we want to do and as we learn about accountability of people journeying with us, encouraging us, it helps. We are all learning together. We are not perfect. And therefore, that word of encouragement, stories that may come forth can inspire and encourage. This is something that maybe for your DG, yeah, you can, as you meet, share about this. What are we going to do about it? How are we going to do about it? Encourage each other. Take your time, okay? No need to rush every week. We must do something new. But I think we need to stick to it and say, this is what God has spoken. Let's learn to obey. I think it was uh, Martin King Jr. This is why he says, uh, if you cannot fly, you run. If you cannot run, you walk. If you cannot walk, you crawl. The most important thing, we must move forward. So let's encourage each other to begin to do what we are able to do, little by little. The most important thing, we must learn to move forward with God 
and in His power.